I'm just sitting here, um, just having some thoughts or whatever. And, um, I don't know, maybe some of y'all can relate to this. I feel like I'm a true introvert. Like, most people don't like when all of a sudden it's just popular for people to put labels on things. Because I really don't care for labels personally, but sometimes it is necessary to sort out different people. I mean, people can just be individuals, but at the same time, you know, a little bit of organization helps. It shouldn't, like, put you in a box or limit limit you to the point where you can't be some of the other categories, you know what I mean? But, you know, sometimes labels are necessary just for organization. Whatever, but, um, you know, I feel like I'm really, really an introvert. Like, I was younger, and I was kind of, like, antisocial. Like, I had anxiety with people. Um, yeah, I didn't really like people. That's why when people tell me stuff about... Uh, one of the like biggest cons with homeschooling my daughter is going to be the fact that she's not going to have a social life or she's not going to know how to act to people because she's being sheltered. <laughs> and then like when they give me that excuse, it's just like, okay, y'all telling me about these one or two people that y'all know personally that were homeschool and act a little like socially awkward but name me all of the homeschool kids that act completely normal as if they were like in a more public school setting like where are those homeschool children that you want to point out because of course people are just going to find information to like feed their case um so i mean I'm like one of those kids that were the opposite. Like, I was in public school my whole life. Like, I remember being in daycare. Like, daycare, like, when I'm, like, four and five. Like, no, 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 like, three and four years old. <clears throat> I remember um, that type of daycare setting. And, you know, I wouldn't say, like, I was, um, like, antisocial. But, like, I ain't really like people. Even at that age, like... I wasn't trying to be all up in nobody's face or, like, I, I, it was just weirded out. It was like, why am I here? Like, where's my mom? Because I'm like, damn, my mom will leave me here, like, every day. And it's like, I don't get to see my mama like that, but I get to see, like, other kids. Like, it was just weird to me. Like, even at the age of three or four, I'm just like, these are strangers. Like, I don't know, I don't know none of y'all, but, like, y'all care for me, like, every day. Like, it was just weird. I always questioned it. So... Like, when I got in middle school, like, I was really, really socially awkward. Like, I talked to people, but, like, I never had a category to, like, go in. Like, I wasn't popular, but I wasn't lame. Um, And this was the same case for, like, high school. Like, I just was, I don't know, I was just me. Like, I got along with everybody. Like, I didn't feel the need to, like, do things to fit in the popular category. Or, like, I didn't feel the need to, like, want to go join a sports team so that it would get me more, like, notice. I wouldn't, like, oh, I got to be at this uh, this party or uh, this sleepover or whatever um, to keep my rank up. Like, I, don't, I wouldn't, like, oh, I'm going to go to school in the flyest outfit and, you know, like, come dress best all the time just to be socially accepted like I don't know I just feel like that was the mindset of like like middle school high school like I wouldn't like oh I gotta find the finest boy to date so I can be most talked about or like fit in most or people want to like like me like that shit was lame as hell to me <laughs> like people associated themselves with certain people for the simple fact that hold on my homegirl trying to text me Let me turn my volume up. Anyways, sorry y'all. So, um, what was I saying? I was saying that, um, in school, like, I never did anything to, like, stand out. It, it was kind of lame to me. It was kind of lame to me. And, um, 
I don't know. Like looking looking back on it now, I feel like I was saying something else, but I forgot where I left off. It'll come back to me, and y'all be like, "Damn, how she jumped from that to that?" But um, yeah, I I didn't. I wasn't into what everybody else was into. Like I say this a lot. I feel like, especially on Snapchat, when I use examples, but like. I just know, like, shoes were a really big thing for everybody. Like, I remember we had an era when, like, all the crank dads came out. <laughs> and, now, don't mind, don't, don't, don't get it twisted. Like, my childhood was bomb as hell as far as, like, the cartoons and the um, wardrobe and stuff like that. It was bomb. But, <sighs> I still, yeah, I'm getting notifications on both of my products my uh, phone and my macbook so um yeah like our, our childhood was bomb as hell but like on a more like soul being level like i wasn't really i was like not really feeling it you know what i mean so like i said shoes are a really big really big um thing for us so or for everybody else excuse me so like, I, I remember the Crank That era when the uh, Bathing Apes came out and, like, and this might have been before that. That might have been when Nelly came out with Air Force Ones, and I don't remember what year that was in. But we was probably, like, in middle school. And it was a really big thing for people to have, like, matching tees with the shoes. So, like, they, well, at least down here, I'm in the South. So, um, the guys thing was at one point in time, like, it was the big, long, extra long t-shirts that looked like nightgowns. And then their jeans, like, sagging, like, hella hard, like. But then they had the era where they had, like, the big t-shirts and the, um, the outer, it was two t-shirts. So the outer t-shirt was smaller, uh, like, a size or two smaller than the under t-shirt they had on. And the only thing they did was they, they flipped their sleeve, uh, they rolled, like, one layer of the sleeve up so that you could see both colors showing. And they would match their uh, forces with them. Because forces were a, a really big thing. Like Air Force Ones. Those were a really big thing um, for a lot of people. I feel like those at one point were more popular than Jordans were to me. Um, so they would like match all their clothes like that. And then just wear like jeans. Um, I didn't really pay attention to the female like wardrobe. I don't know why. But... Yeah, like, I just didn't feel necessary to have the latest horses or the latest Jordans or the latest brand of clothing. Um, I didn't, I didn't feel the need to associate myself, like, I didn't feel the need to obtain these things that everybody else was obtaining by, like, putting value on, whether, like, by saying... By determining that if you have these things that you're cool. Like, it, it was strange to me. Like, everybody was always trying to, like, be in the livest, like, clique or group. Like, if you had that popular group that everybody, like, just was drawn to and then, like, everybody deemed, like, they're the coolest. Mostly because they were, like, orchestrating things. Like, they were putting stuff together. Like, they were putting together the parties that were just, you know, like, dope, like... You know, they were the kids that, like, smoked and, like, just, I don't know, were, I guess, leaders. And, like, everybody just, you know, kind of attracted to that. But I, I just used to always sit back and observe and just be like, that's what they do. Like, I, I just was never drawn to it. Like, I was kind of like a neutral party. Nobody ever really noticed it, though, because... You know, everybody was, you know, had their own stuff going on with trying to keep up, you know, being popular. I was like, what the hell is that? But my laptop, that low-key scared me. But, um, yeah, like, I wasn't, I wasn't into it. But I said all of that to say, I, I'm, I'm like a natural-born, like, introvert. Like, I really can't be around people for too long because I feel so drained like whether I'm talking to somebody on the phone whether somebody's like in my like personal like space or 
like I'm at work or I'm just around like energies, like whether it be that one energy for a long point in time or whether it's multiple energies I'm dealing with, like I get drained really fast and so I need my alone time because you 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 um disperse your your time and your energy to several different beings um every single day like for instance like if you're around your parents you're interacting with their energy you um you're doing things for them um you're around them um if you have a child and you take care of your child like 24 7 um after you just came home from um you know a job that you're giving energy to or you just had to go to a doctor's appointment and it's not the best news you want to hear you know you're giving your energy to that or maybe it is you know good good um news i don't know but you're still giving your energy to it so it's just like you just gotta make time for yourself it's not saying as in giving energy like it just really really like drains you physically it could be draining you mentally it could be draining you um emotionally like um in either direction but it's still energy so i feel like that alone time with yourself just to reflect on yourself or you know meditate to quiet your mind so that you can you know really really relax and you don't have to have these stresses weighing on your brain even when you're alone and away from other people um you know you just you just got to make time for yourself and that's what i'm realizing these are like reflection videos that i just do um when I'm just feeling thoughtful, which is why the first video I named um, thoughtful, which the word itself means full of thought. So I'm I'm just an introvert and I'm just learning like it's okay to say no. And I, I feel like it's cliche, say, cliche saying them because you'll see like Instagram posts or memes or whatever like uh, float around the internet and it says like self-love and pretty much like taking care of yourself is um I feel like I lost what I was saying I did lose track of what I was saying and it was something good too y'all look I hate that don't y'all hate when y'all lose y'all thought I don't know but you just you're, you're just dispersing energy so it's just it's just nice to sit there I was talking about the Instagram post how um they'll say like you know taking care of yourself is it's okay to say no or it's okay not to pick up that phone call or it's okay not to you know um you know basically just do a favor like it's cliche because you see it like on the internet but it's really true like it it's okay to not want to put up with people's shit like it's okay to like honor yourself and admire yourself and have respect for yourself to the point where you know if somebody does something that doesn't really sit well with you that you have the balls enough to like express to them you know respectfully you know in a non confrontational in a non-confrontational way you know how you felt about the situation and then you know like just kind of let it go or whatever like it's okay to just Put yourself first sometimes. Like, that that's totally fine. As long as you're doing it in moderation and as long as the intent of doing for yourself, you know, pure. And I just like these reflection videos. Like, I mentioned in my other video, like, I sit and I just, like, talk or whatever. But it's really good venting. Like, I ain't trying to have y'all all in my personal life or whatever because I don't really tell y'all nothing personal. I just tell you about my personality. But, you know, it's just really, it's just really cleansing. And, um, it feels good to finally, like, put my stuff on my channel and, you know, in hopes to help somebody else or, you know, maybe somebody else is just like, damn, I feel alone. And then, like, run across my videos and just relate to me so much. And, I don't know. Y'all get what I'm saying. But, yes. Yeah, I'm about to end this video. Because I feel like I went from talking about my daycare to, like, talking about Jordans. Because I, like, skipped the gap in between there. Whatever, we're not going to backtrack. Because that's just going to be worse. So, uh, 
yeah peace family um i'm gonna end this video and if i have something else to talk about later or whenever then i'll just make another video but tell me how y'all feel in y'all comment in the comments can y'all relate like am i just by myself like what's up <laughs> so peace